Hello, hello again, guys. Today is a How To Tuesday, and today I will be showing you how I do my press on nails. Now, I have to say, these are my absolute favorite nails. When it comes to press on nails, I love this brand. These are the Impress nails. I'm going to show them at the end, but these are a must have. When I say these nails last so long, um, they last so long y'all and you have to follow the, the directions and the steps that they give you and it's only like a two-step process they already come with like this little sticky stuff on the inside of the nail so you don't even have to use nail glue oh my gosh that just reminded me i had a total nail mishap last week where i went to go super i went super glue i went to go uh glue a nail back on and do you know when I unscrewed the nail glue, it wasted all over my hand, y'all. And I had nail glue stuck to my hand and my rings were stuck to my finger. They were stuck to my ring finger and I was so scared. I called on my husband. He had to come upstairs during the Super Bowl game just to help me and save me from myself because I was so scared. But yeah, I wanted to try something new today where I talked about some stuff while I am doing my nails or doing whatever I'm doing in the video. So for this video, again, um, I'm putting on my press on nails. What I'm doing in the video right now is I am matching the sizes up, making sure I have the correct size so that when I take the little sticker thingy off, the nails fit perfectly or as perfect as I can get them. I don't want them to be too big. Like you got to make sure that the nail doesn't come over onto the skin on the sides. Like I hate the press ons that do that. So I try to find a good size to where I, I rather have it a little too small than, than, than too big. That's just me though. Anyways, for today's topic, I wanted to talk about a few things. So, um, the first one of the first things I wanted to talk about is this season of Mary at First Sight. Oh my goodness, y'all! Mainly the Chris and Paige storyline. Like, I am just so, I am just so flabbergasted at all of the stuff that is going on in this season. What in the world? Like, I cannot believe they have Chris on the show. I cannot believe Paige has decided to stay with him so far after all of the red flags out of after all of the things that he said to her and she's still there like I would have been left like been been left all right oh my goodness y'all in the video my nails dropped into my eyelash drawer these are all my eyelashes this is where my eyelashes are located as well as all of my lash glue and do you know all of my nails fell inside of this drawer y'all so that's what I'm doing now I'm getting the nails out of that drawer oh my goodness but yeah Chris and Paige I just I just don't know I just I don't get it I don't get a lot that went on with them I'm I'm really saddened to see all of the things that Paige is going through in this season oh my goodness like what in the world but yeah let's get all of this back in order in my nail in my last drawer and put everything back together so we can get back to these nails y'all and i promise you once i make sure all of the sizes match up which i should you know what i actually just thought about what i need to do is write down the number for the nails so that i don't have to search anymore i can just find the number because the number doesn't change if i use the same like company the number shouldn't change so i have on some nails right now i have a red color oh i want to talk about this so in the video right here i'm using what they have as step one is like this alcohol wipe and i've never done this before with my press on nails from impress but this time I did this and when I say it worked, like it basically dries your nails down and get gets rid of all of the nail oils or hair oil or whatever you have on your hand and finger and nail, it gets rid of it. So please do that. And now I'm taking the little plastic sticker off and I am just going to press the nail onto my nail and this time i kind of didn't put it really close to my cuticle i kind of gave it a little bit of space but yeah as you can see i am zooming through this take the little sticker off put the nail on take the sticker off and it's not a sticker it's like a little plastic film 
that's basically protecting the sticky layer that's underneath the nail but yeah take that little sticky thing off put the nail on sticky thing off put the nail on so that's what i'm doing also y'all i want us to have a conversation i want you all's opinion on something okay here's the thing i want your opinion on i want you to tell me what you think the proper way to include someone in a group chat okay tell me what you think should happen so when you so do you think that people should just put you in a group chat just because they just want to put you in a group chat or do you think people should ask okay do you feel comfortable are you okay with being in this group chat because i am in a handful of group chats that are just like girl why am i here half the time no one's responding half half of the time one person's writing in the chat no one is responding to them or there's people in the chat that are having conversations between the two of them that have nothing to do with everyone else in the group chat so again i want y'all to tell me in the comments how would you prefer to be added into a group text setting for me i would actually like to be asked or they should have a setting on the phone where you can opt out of being in the group chat like what if you you know you're good at first with being in the group chat but then it's not it, you know you come to a point in time in your life where you just don't you're just not okay with being in that same group chat so you want to remove yourself like why can't you remove yourself from these group messages like you literally have to block all of your text messages in order to not receive a group message and i don't like that they should really look into making it to where we can opt out i don't know that's just me that's just my spiel anyway so back to my nails i am once i put them on my finger i like to press down on them just to make sure that they're in there really good and oh my goodness i've made it to my last nail so yeah take the nail take the little sticky thing off or the little white is honestly it is not sticky it's just a piece of plastic take the little plastic off and then stick the nail on and i just make sure i press it so that it's on there good and it actually came with this i actually never used this either but it comes with a nail file that they basically glue to the paper and i'm trying to figure out how to use it but then i figure it out and i just start filing my nail because the nails have this like little pointy part in the middle where the where the number is and you want to file that down so that your nails look more natural i don't know but i feel like these short nails are the new style when it comes to nails lately a lot of us have opted to get like the shorter square nail i feel like these are like vintage vibes <laughs> This was all the rage back when we were back when my age group was what in like middle school. We all had like the short square nails. And so they're coming back into style now. No more long coffin stiletto nails. We are down. We're back to the short square nails. Very cute. Very classy. So that's what I'm doing now. Just making sure I file everything down. And also some of the nails kind of flare out on the on the uh, left and right. So I like to file the sides of the nails as well. So that's what I'm doing now. File, file, file. All right, let's speed this up, y'all. But yeah, file down to um, a straight square and then get the sides. Make sure you get every nail. Make sure they look super cute. I really like these because they actually came with um, the one right here on the index finger. It had a little diamond on it. So that was super cute. A super cute additive. I really love these nails. They were so cute, y'all. And they lasted me a week and they would have lasted me longer. Like I had to like force these nails off. That's how long they wanted to stay on my nail. But I wanted to do a different color for Valentine's Day, so that's why I changed them out. And I actually keep my nails in somewhere called my I call it my nail salon. So what I'm doing now is just putting them back into like a little display format so that I can go back like if I want to do my nails again. Hopefully I have enough to do my nails again. But yeah, I just put them back in their little openings that they were in when I first bought them so that they look really cute on display. And yeah, 
putting them back but yeah please don't forget to write in the comments and let me know how y'all feel about the whole group text situation and um Chris and Paige on Married at First Sight oh my goodness I am just I can't wait till the next episode y'all I really cannot wait to see but yes these are from TJ Maxx they cost me three dollars and 99 cents and they honestly will last you up to a good two weeks you can wash your face you can you know wash dishes with them you can do everything with them and they stay on so four dollars for a whole nail set they're super shiny and they're super cute and durable so yeah i love them if you want some cute nails go get you some these are the kiss impress now you don't get any kind you got to get the impress kind those are the ones you want all right y'all thank you so much for tuning in and listening to me listening to this video see you in the next one